Today we're making Epsom salt crystals. All you need is Epsom salt, a clear glass, measuring cup, and food dye if you want to color it. So I know I'm using a liquid measuring cup, but I'm going to pour half a cup worth of Epsom salt into the measuring cup and then pour it into the glass. Um, so I'm doing two separate ones. I'm doing a colored glass and a no food coloring glass because I wanted to see the difference. So we're going to put half a cup of Epsom salt in each one. I'm using a liquid measuring cup so that way it would be two parts. So it'd be one part Epsom salt, one part water. Um, the reason behind that is is because you want to put as much salt into the amount of water you can to where it just refuses to dissolve in it. There's going to be a few crystals left over which I will show that in a second. So I'm going to put two drops of blue food coloring and one drop green because I wanted to try making a teal color. And then the right one I'm going to have plain. So what you want to do is turn your hot tap water on, have it get as hot as possible. This is fast forwarded, by the way. <laughs> Just do half a cup of hot water. Pour it in. And you want to mix it. See how it's cloudy? It's because the salt is dissolving into the hot water. You just want to mix, 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 mix. So I'm grabbing another half cup of hot water and gonna pour, well, cut the water off. <laughs> And I'm going to pour that into the colored one. This is my favorite part. Look at it. The lovely color it turns. That is so cool. Look how it instantly dissolves some of that salt. So you want to mix, mix, mix. Kind of cloudy looking. So let's take a zoom in here. See some of that salt? collecting on the bottom. That's salt that just will not dissolve in the warm water anymore. You can even see it on the clear a little bit, not as good, but you can see some of the salt particles still kind of floating in that water too, because of, in front of the spoon. So I'm putting these two in the fridge because they say Epsom salt, the crystals form faster when you put them in a cold, dark area. What I didn't know is I should kind of put them more towards the back because with how often we open the fridge, it's kind of disturbing them. So this was the first day. This was an hour in. Some of the crystals were forming on the top just a little bit. This is three hours later. Okay, so there's more. Really like that. It said it can take up to 12 to 24 hours, so we'll let it keep going. So this is day two. I moved them further back in the fridge. Crystals are bigger and more spiky. The colored one is not as good. But the topper is really nice. I moved it back in the fridge because where it was so close to the front, it was getting more vibrations from the door opening and closing. I'm hoping that moving it towards the back of the fridge and leaving it in there over the weekend undisturbed will make the crystals grow bigger and we can see the outcome. They say the colored Crisp Epsom salt crystals tend to grow slower and not as large as the uncolored, so we're going to see if that's true. I have let these sit for five days. As you can see, the crystals at the top of the green one is definitely larger, and then the clear one, they're kind of smaller, but the crystals on the inside are 
taller than the colored. So I'm assuming that adding food coloring really does stunt the growth of the crystals. So let's take a look closer. Here's the top of the clear and look at those crystals. That is so cool. Wow. Now looking at this one, the crystals at the top are larger. Definitely very pretty, but the crystals in the bottom are not as exciting, not as tall for sure. Then here's a better look at the ones from the top. The colored crystals. And then here's the ones from the clear. So I am gonna let these sit for a while in the back of the fridge, just see how big we can get them. I'll post some pictures on our Facebook. Here is our links. Have a good day. Bye.